All right, let's take it up a notch over here. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, interactive registration being used on a project that was not done with interactive registration. So currently, if you look at my project, I have a scan manager that has really good results on it. Everything's relatively close and happy, and I have uh, individual clusters with um, registration results. Uh, warehouse, everything is pretty good looking over here. But if you look at the interactive registration and we click the scans and we view all of it together, uh, let's uh, run a clipping box around everything, um, you see that there's actually no connections anywhere. So if you try to run a registration now, uh, there will be zero uh, ability for you to actually do any kind of updates. First of all, because your scan managers are locked, so the little padlock I'm going to unlock. And because I have multiples, I will actually unlock this guy also. But you can do it all in one step by just right-clicking here, and you can do unlock all, and you'll see both of these will go away. So now I have the update button, but the update button doesn't do anything because it sees that there are no actual... Uh, connections between the scans. So in order to rerun a previously run registration with uh, target less registration and clusters, you will have to address each one of the actual clusters. So in the case, in my case over here, I have a cluster called, first of all, the major or the uh, master cluster called scans. Then I have a cluster called printing and then I have a cluster called warehouse. All of these will have to be done either manually or individually. So let's do this. Let's do this one uh, manually. So let's go here and hit uh, registration. Uh, look at it. You can see my cross section over here. I'll just, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to do this. There we go. Maybe this is the actual cluster that's called printing, right? Uh, I don't have any connections. So let's do this. Let's. Uh, do this one manually or yeah let's do this manually there's not that many scans here so let me hit add connection and you can kind of tell this is this was pre-registered before so you know that these are in the correct positions you just need to find manual links between the actual scans here so let's see if we can figure out some kind of a logic here uh, let's go here let's go down the hallway up here and this way. You can tell that maybe there could be a scan here. There's just a shelf in between, so that's not a wall. We might benefit from a scan like this and maybe a scan uh, link here and maybe even these two guys. But I mean, this is where you can kind of nitpick. And new, these are new connections. So what we'll do is we'll hit the button that says refine new connections. And refining the new connections should give us statistics between the relationship of these actual scans. So let's wait for this. All right, uh, we have our refined connections over here. All of them seem to have uh, good results, green, so that's okay. If you find one that's just not working, uh, you either delete it or you can kind of find a different uh, connection between the actual scans or being that um, this, there's still that little quirk in 2023.1 where you have to close and review something to actually see the statistics. In my case, everything came out green, which is great. Um, let's just optimize the placement over here, or it's not gonna change much because it's barely any motion over there, and we'll just hit the update statistics. That'll change my scan manager to green. And I'm looking at my results here and everything looks really Great, so I'm just gonna hit OK over here. Let's do this. So if we just for fun, right now view our registration here, you'll see that we have links between only cluster uh, this guy. We still don't have any links in the warehouse here. So let's go uh, tack that. Let me go and just to make it a little bit more user friendly, instead of doing the links and running everything here, I will close this view and we'll just view the actual warehouse here, registration only. Let's run a clipping box around this thing. And again, I could do the manual connections like I did before between the actual scans, or let's give it a try and actually have the program find the collections, connections for me. So let's hit find 
registration, it's going to be inheriting uh, settings that are set here. So your subsampling and your search distance and your actual sensors that are on. But right now, let's just wait for the software to find the connections between the scans. All right, this is done also. This is a bigger space, so larger tolerance over here. We'll hit the OK button. Uh, you can see that the automated routine found way more connections that I would have deemed reasonable. If you find connections that are like really far away from each other, like this one, for example, I can go ahead and actually delete this guy and start nitpicking certain ones that might be really far away from each other. Uh, this one's okay. This one's really far. And again, I mean, it's kind of up to you how, how much time you want to spend on this thing. And that's why sometimes just doing the connections manually is faster. But let's just leave it be. After you re, uh, change a couple of these uh, connections, you do need to uh, update the statistics because you see your scan manager actually changed to uh, red here. So let's do this. Now it's back to green again. It might have gotten a little bit better. It was two millimeters. Now it's, I think, 1.9. So this is pretty good. So I am done uh, with these two. So if we look at, again, the uh, registration view here, we'll have the clusters there individually linked to each other. And now let's just do a uh, uh, fine registration between the scans uh, that are here. I don't have a cluster for these scans. I could have made a cluster, but let's just, again, you don't have to make a cluster. So let's just do this automatically. So now that uh, these guys are registered and we have connections between them. This one has connections between them. We don't have any connections that connect these scans. So let's just go and do fine registration here. So this will initiate a fine registration uh, attempt between cluster number one, cluster number two over here with the actual scans and the individual scans that are inside my scans master cluster, I guess. All right, here we go. It ran through its little processing here. Everything seems to be uh, pretty good. My One of the scans over here, again, uh, it may be possibly five millimeters, but uh, I can nitpick that in a little while. Um, you see that there's actual connections between the clusters. And the cluster connections are, there's a blue cluster over here. The blue cluster has a connection to uh, the individual scans by virtue of, well, this link over here, which oddly enough is too long. I would imagine that it, there should be a shorter connection here, but that's the drawback of doing everything automatically. Automatic stuff finds connections. For example, this connection that's yellow here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Come on. There we go. This connection, if I right click it, it should be this guy. Oh, no. Let's zoom in on it a little bit better here. If you look at the properties, it's yellow because of the fact that there's no overlap there. So I would have never actually picked this connection and I can go ahead and actually delete this guy. And uh, I could re-optimize, but see, uh, doing automatic registration by hitting the fine registration routine finds a lot of connections that you otherwise would not have deemed reasonable. So what you can go to do now is, even though you have your statistics, which, well, now have to be updated because we just removed an actual uh, connection there, but the update will be relatively quick because we really just removed one connection. So you'll see that it, it changed uh, didn't change much here in terms of my uh, largest uh, tolerance here, but that's just because I am looking at the overall picture here. So let's go just for fun, find scan number 12 here, which is there, and our connection. See, that connection is really, really long. So what I'll do is I'm going to delete this guy and just leave this connection there. Let's do this. Let's do update. And 
we've just uh, found our, or at least removed our biggest error, uh, which was there just because of the fact that it was really far away that I wouldn't have done as far as a connection between these two scans if these are the adjacent ones. So again, uh, removing and adding allows you to really quickly improve on your statistics and combine all of your stuff together. Um, there's no better or worse way of doing these things. Some people might want to do the manual connections. Some people might want to do the mm, automatic connections. But when you see connections that are really just illogical, like over here, for example, even this is a little bit too long for my comfort zone, but hey, uh, you can leave it. Or you can figure out which connection was that. You can, when, when you highlight that connection, it'll get highlighted in the actual structure view here which I obviously don't have open here. Uh, printing warehouse, and you can right click and hit properties and it'll show you what, uh, what the statistics uh, behind that actual connection are. If you find that it's too little overlap or really high tensions over here, you can go ahead and just right click in and delete it. And then just don't forget to re-optimize and then do your uh, updated statistics. But for now, that's it. Uh, messing with uh, interactive registration in a little bit more complicated project. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.